Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question about two-way tables. This problem has four parts. I will read each part and ask you to pause to solve. Ethan asked a random sample of students the two questions below. Do you have brothers or sisters? Does your family have a dog? Ethan created this table to display the data he collected. Part A. Based on the table, what is the total number of students that have no brothers or sisters? Please pause now. Welcome back. So we're going to go to our table and we want to know which is the total number that have no brothers or sisters. So we go up to this line right here. Has no brothers or sisters. So we have 15. Add the 25. So we know that there's a total number of students surveyed of 40 that answered that they have no brothers or sisters. Part B, based on the data in the table, what percentage of students that have no brothers or sisters have a dog? Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. So now we're being asked to find the percentage of the students that have no brothers or sisters and don't have, and they do have a dog. So we're going to go up to our question, and we know that we are already identified that 40 students surveyed said they have no brothers or sisters, and of those 40, we know that have a dog is 25. So to find the percentage, we're going to do the ratio of 25 out of 40, and you divide and multiply by 100, and you get 62.5%. Part C. Of the students represented in the table that have no dog, what is the ratio of students that have brothers or sisters to the students that have no brothers or sisters? Please pause now. Welcome back. So in this question, we're being asked to say that they have no dog and what is the ratio of the no dog of students that have brothers or sisters to the students that have no brothers or sisters? So again, we got a ratio of students here. The first part of our ratio is have brothers or sisters. So we're going to go have brothers or sisters is the 80. And then two students that have no brothers or sisters, have no brothers or sisters, is 15. So again, let's look at that again. We're talking about the students in the table that have no dog. So have no dog is this column. And now we're asked to write a ratio of the ones that have brothers and sisters to the ones that have no brothers or sisters. So our ratio is 80 to 15, and we can divide both numerator and denominator of our ratio by 5 and come up with a simplified ratio of 16 to 3. Part D. Ethan believes that students have no brothers or sisters are more likely to have a dog than the students that have brothers or sisters. Does the data support Ethan's belief and be able to explain your reasoning? Go ahead and pause now. Welcome back. So now we're going to have to go, and I remind you that we had brothers and sisters right here. We said Ethan believes that students have no brothers or sisters are more likely to have a dog. So we know that 62.5% of the ones that have no brothers or sisters had dogs. We already did that in a previous part. So now we're going to find out how many that have brothers or sisters have a dog. So we say 80 plus 60 is 140. So that's how many have brothers or sisters. And of that 140, 60 of those students have dogs. So we want to know the percentage of 60 out of 140. So 60 out of 140 is 42.9% versus when they have no brothers or sisters, they have a dog is 62.5%. So we can say that this data supports Ethan's belief because 62.5% is greater than the 42.9% that the data supports Ethan's belief that students with no brothers and sisters are more likely to have a dog. Thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to solve math test prep questions, and I hope you will continue on to the next video.